What's popping this good? Welcome back to my YouTube channel V in progress because we're only progressing here So today as you can tell from the title Yes, we're doing a lot of cleaning the brushes because we have been doing a lot of makeup lately And it is important to keep your brushes clean so that you can avoid all the acne the eye infections You know guys. Yeah, so I have here all my foundation brushes my powder brushes my eye makeup brushes contour brushes and it's a lot of work but I'm gonna be taking you guys through how I clean my own makeup brushes and I hope you guys stay tuned for the video kindly if you like this video don't forget to like it give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment if you like this video and what else you'd want me to do and definitely subscribe Yeah, so guys, uh, cleaning your brushes doesn't have to be expensive. Like for me, I'll show you the most affordable ways I clean. I used to clean my brushes and definitely like the easiest ways. And one, I use this Lifebuoy soap. It's antibacterial, so it will clean my brushes and uh, disinfect them so that we avoid any bacteria being left on the brushes yeah so this one goes for 50 kenya shillings and you can get it from any shop or any supermarket around you and basically it's one of the cheapest way of doing this so what you want to do is take your foundation brush for, for me this is my powder brush uh, and run it under running water just to wet it and then you're gonna be moving it in circular movements on your soap so that it just gets to absorb the soap everywhere all around i mean from the bottom to the sides and everywhere yeah so just do that and then rub it on the palm of your hand in circular move still uh, this will allow you to get in deep and also around your brush yeah so you can also use your fingers this helps with the bumps on the fingers like it helps go deeper basically Yeah, then you need to squeeze out as you can see my brush is very dirty there's a lot of powder in there and then you're gonna be running it under water yeah just to rinse it and make sure that all the dirt is gone and make sure you rinse it well so that like once it dries you don't have like those patches of the foundation or the powder or whichever product you use on your eye yeah. so make sure also the tap has clean water yeah and it doesn't have to be warm or hot just a uh, full temperature yeah so next you want to squeeze out all the excess water nice and gently don't be rough with your brushes you don't want those bristles coming out yes yeah so also like clean the handle don't forget the handle okay so another method I use I, uh, you can use your hand wash and for me right now I'm using this fields of Africa it's antibacterial hand wash and uh, yes again to sanitize my brushes sometimes I like to use it using my olive oil so that I can leave my brushes moisturized but once in a while I still use it on its own so guys that's what we're gonna be using to clean the next brush and it's easy and affordable it's I think 200 bob or 230 around there not more than 250 so it's affordable so what you want to do is add a little on your palm okay on the palm of your hand and then rub the brush inside in the circular moves again the same method uh, with your hand and yes leave your brushes all cleaned up and sanitized
so just like the other brush I'm just rinsing it under running water yes just to make sure that the brush is left clean and squeezing out all the water left in the bristles so that it dries faster yes overnight most probably as you can see there is our brush just as clean as using the left pot yeah so next guys i'm using these gloves if you exfoliate they are good for that and also if you do a lot of pedis and manicure uh, they still use this so what you want to do is use it uh, it's better for deep cleaning especially if you have used your brushes over a long duration of time like that is a dirty brush I think I used it on my last project and I'm gonna link the last project I did down in the description box below and so you just literally do the same same like take your soap rub it use the same method the same soaps just that the glove will help you go deeper on your brushes and it cleans faster yes and the same use the circular movement and for the brushes especially if you have a lot of brushes like for me I have loads of brushes so sometimes like just using my hand and putting them under water for long like it gets annoying so the brushes comes in hand but it's so affordable I mean it's like a hand not more than a hundred bob for two at the boys so you can get yours there yeah thank me later yeah don't forget the handle guys because you still like you have touched it over and over again so it has the germs definitely so make sure you clean even the handles and then the same method applies once you, you your brush is clean run it under water and rinse it and that's it see the same way it's as clean as me using my hand so when it comes to the eye brushes you want to take at least as many as your hand can hold but then not too many so that at least they also get cleaned for me here i'm using the four and the same method applies you can either use the hand soap or the soap and you just take them rub them in if it's the bath soap or if they if it's the hand wash just pour a little on the glove then just rub it all over in the circular movements again yeah so for here we're using the life boy just using the same method with the powder brushes and then just rubbing them in circular moves and side moves just to make sure they get the soap everywhere and they get cleaned deep cleaned And then you have your clean brushes, the small, tiny eye makeup brushes, and they're very important. So you want to make sure that they're clean and very much sanitized. So when it comes to, to air drying the brushes, uh, I just take my towel and I'll fold it uh, just one side so that I want my brushes to be bended when I'm air drying them. So next, I'm taking my paper, my paper towels, like I'm using a serviette in this, and I just want to rub them in circular moves again, just to take out all the excess water, which quickens their drying. I'm going to do the same for all the other brushes that I've cleaned, and then just place them bended on this towel, and leave them overnight, and by morning, they will be all dry. Yes, yeah, so that's how you do it guys my brushes are all nice and clean and I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you didn't know how to clean your brushes I hope now this helps you do that and definitely I would want to know how you guys clean your own brushes so don't forget to leave me a comment in the description box below and yeah i really hope you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already until next week guys bye bye